Hey, Shameless Squad, what's up, collective community? This is a read that I actually wanted to pull cards on this morning, but I really wanted to share with you all some different types of downloads that I've been getting recently. I know that I said, hey, go back and watch the shorts if you caught my new moon read. Make sure you go back and watch that. That is an astro sexy and relationships read to really understand what's going on for you during this time around the new moon and the month of May ahead. So check your sun, moon, rising, uh, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. But this message that I have to deliver is not for the lighthearted. And I want to say, if you need to go seek help, therapy, counseling, lawyer, whatever, please go do those things. Um, Happy May, happy mental health month, happy women's health month, and all the damn things out there. But I pulled cards this morning because uh, Spirit was guiding me to do this for some reason. I don't know who needs to hear this message out there, but I just asked the general questions of like, what's going on for the collective right now during this time? So what we got was the cover photo was Queen of Wands in the reverse, which really talks about maybe someone using sex as a weapon, um, someone maybe experiencing sexual abuse, someone who has been sexually abused, someone who um, maybe is a, a someone that has engaged in sexual abusing someone else. And this is what came up overall because we have the tower card here, which really does show um, with the nine of wands in the upright here, somebody was experiencing sexual abuse and the victim of sexual abuse in this situation. Um, this could be a Scorpio, this could be an Aries because that's coming up overall. But again, this is just something general that I pulled cards on. I'm not going to clarify this or anything, but I was very um, in tune and aligned with delivering this message to someone. And if you have experienced this in the past, uh, just know I'm sending you so much love, a big hug, everything like that. And Spirit's also saying like, it's okay to open up about this if this happened in childhood, Page of Pentacles, or if you're working on these things during Taurus season or Earth size season or whenever. But this could also happen to somebody when they were a child and experiencing this abuse. And now they're really processing through this as an adult. Again, someone else could also come to you and tell you this message as well. So if and when they do that, all I can really say is believe them believe them, hold space for them. And if they are seeking help in regards of other steps and what they can move forward, make sure you are an ear, a support. And if you don't know how to get help, please reach out to other people that can. Um, and we have judgment overall at the bottom of the deck when this came out. So it's just like, this is telling me there's going to be something that goes to court here. This could be something where a celebrity is exposed and maybe this person isn't going to get away with this. This could be something where there's multiple victims coming up because in the present uh, energy, it was the tower and the knight of wands, which two cards that just tells me maybe there were multiple victims or survivors, whatever you choose to use with language um, that come forward with some sort of message here. And this is not going to go in this person's favor. Pluto retrograde is going on. And this could also be those hidden things coming to light here truly. And with this in the past year, with Pluto going retrograde, um, we've really seen a lot of different leaders out there, celebrities out there really be exposed for who they are. And now justice is going to be served. Like this is judgment here. This is choosing to speak up, choosing to move forward, choosing to get help, choosing for this person not to get away with this. So I just wanted to share this message for whoever out there needed it. If you want to be able to do a private read with me, um, if this is something that you're experiencing, I am happy to help you in that way. But do go back and watch the new moon energy reads because maybe this is something that you've been working on or you've been called to work on or manifest to move forward with Speak Up. There will be messages in there for you too, Boo. Um, confirmation as my crystal's falling right now. Uh, spirit. Um, literally is saying move forward with it because this is the moonstone energy. So I don't know if this happened to a cancer out there or whatever, um, or if this is like the divine stepping in saying, hey, that's a sign. Use moonstone. We're here to protect you moving forward and you are safe to speak up with this. So for other channeled messages for the collective out there, um, I have been really channeling a lot of different um, spiritual animal totems and different types of things. So I just want to tell you, go back and watch my shorter videos that are on my thing. Um, that's another B and I was, that was one I was going <laughs> to talk to y'all about. But really, this is a time of sexuality, creative energy with the bee spirit animal coming up quite a bit here. So again, 
again, that could also be a part of this type of energy collectively that is happening. So make sure that um, you are taking care of your mental health, your sexual health, your physical health, everything too. Um, I tried to put some of those videos into shorts, so it's really, really difficult. So just watch those videos because there will be messages in there for you. Pay attention to cardinals, pay attention to swishers, pay attention to butterflies, pay attention to different types of things. Um, and come back and watch those other videos when I upload them too. There's a lot of different downloads and hits that are coming up for you, um, specifically with the collective. So make sure you are paying attention to your dreams. You're writing them down. You're looking up spiritual animal meanings. You're coming back to these videos as well, because I have a lot that I'm going to share with you too. Um, and I want to also say, watch your back during this time for snakes, because there's lots of different snake energy out there with Pluto going retrograde and the different types of astrology on the age of Aquarius really supports you being vulnerable, you being yourself, you being authentic. And I think there is something to be said with doing it all one step at a time and in good timing. Like you don't have to do it all at once. You can do it out in your own timeline is really the message that I'm getting from spirit to share with you. Um, because there's different snakes out there that really also, um, want to influence you and want you to fail and <laughs> see your downfall here. So until you are like really ready to maybe handle any repercussions or alchemize that energy or laugh it off, whatever, then make sure you feel very prepared and confident and, you know, like I fucking got this shit. You know what I mean? Um, you could also be seeing your birthday number a lot. There's a lot of synchronizations right now with master numbers and angel numbers, um, birds chirping, <laughs> confirmations here. I love it. And it's really important for you to pay attention to all the signs right now. There is something about the season with Taurus slowing down and really being present spiritually and emotionally too. Um, some other things for you that I wanted to mention and talk about as well, like even on my uh, new moon um, video. So thank you everybody who did watch that. I know it's long. I wanted to try something new. So definitely go back and comment and watch that video and see what you think of the new style boo. I love hearing these confirmations from you. Um, but I had someone, for example, on there, you know, troll me in my chat and everything like that. And I'm really grateful for the people that were on the chat who were, um, you know, just supporting me, confirming these things, telling me like, you know, what resonated with them. And, you know, I was, you know, interacting on that live chat with the premiere and everything like that. And, you know, I decided to delete that person's comment. And then they wanted to like come back and comment again because from a fake account, fake profile. So a message for you to say is really watch your back. But I started laughing at it. And that's when you really like take that energy back. And if you're not ready to take that energy back from people that maybe are wishing on your downfall, maybe shaming you, maybe just trying to uh, hate on you because they aren't happy with their life, then that's something to really pay attention to and be mindful of of whether or not you feel confident enough in order to do that work and if you need like some shameless confidence coaching from me your girl over here uh reach out to me bill i also want to share with all the women on my channel here i have a couple spots left on my retreat my women's retreat specifically that's coming up this may i wanted to keep costs really low i know retreats cost anywhere from like three thousand four thousand seven thousand ten thousand dollars so mine is not that um expensive or anything and good for those people that can that are doing that and are putting that out there right um and i will get there one day and i just wanted to put it out to all my youtube family here if you want to come and meet me and do some different types of self-care workshops i'm going to be doing private readings for people that sign up too if they want that 30 minute read um as well as just connection community rejuvenation and relaxation it is going to be in a couple weeks so I wanted to share that invitation with all of you, Boo. I would love to see you there. It would be such an honor. And for anyone who's also been reaching out to me saying, I want an energy read, I want an astro sex birth chart read, please go to my website and schedule. All that information is below. I will also pin it in the comments too in regards to my retreat, Boo. So just remember, you are strong. You can do this. Take things one step at a time in life and make sure that you're paying attention to all the signs, the synchronicities uh, during this period. Spirit is with you. Spirit loves you. I love you. I wanted to send these messages to you, boo. And thank you so much for being here. Like and comment what you enjoyed from this video. And stay tuned for more. Hit subscribe if you aren't. And stay shameless.